Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Uh, someone sent this question in via YouTube to Mike. They have names over here. It's kind of last name uh, followed by first name, although sometimes there's an initial. And they want to get the first and last letters, kind of like a monogram. Now, this is a tough one. I have no idea how Mike is going to solve this without VBA, but I know I'm going straight over to VBA. So we'll do Alt F11. And then insert module. Once I have that module, there's module one. I'm going to uh, paste some code that I wrote, and uh, let's try and get this that way you all can see it. Uh, so I created a new. It's not a sub. It's actually a function, and I called that function monogram. And I'm going to pass it uh, the text in the cell. And first thing I did was I used the trim function to get rid of leading and trailing spaces, uh, and also any interior double spaces. I started out with uh, monogram being equal to nothing. And I know that the last name is in that first character, so I'm going to use that last. From there, I start to go um, for i equals 1 to the length of that text. And if it's equal to a space, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this monogram text and add the next character. Next character. So we'll shoot through there. That'll get, in theory, the initial of the first name and any middle initial. And then at the very end, we take the monogram and add the leftmost character, which if everything goes well, should be the last name. Let's switch back to Excel and we'll try it here. So equal monogram. And what I'm hoping to get here is DJ. There we go. Copy that down. And even there where we have a middle initial, I'm getting uh, the middle initial. Okay, so Mike, I realize this wasn't exactly how they asked for it, but it's how I think it should be done. Uh, so there, <laughs> Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Oh man, monogram VBA, totally beautiful. And guess what? It's getting that last letter, which is the middle initial. So it goes D A S. Ah, but I don't know VBA. So I'm stuck with formulas and functions. All right, um, hey, I'm going to start off with the trim function, just like Mr. Excel's VBA. He asked the VBA to come and use the worksheet function trim. I'm going to use the worksheet function trim. All it does is it get rid, gets rid of all spaces except for single spaces between words. Control Enter, and I'm going to copy this down. OK, so that just gives us the words with spaces. I need to get at that letter first. So I'm going to, in this cell, hit F2. And I'm actually going to use this trim a number of times, so I'm going to highlight it and copy. Now I'm going to use the replace, because I'm trying to get that. I'm going to say, hey, replace, go from the first character to wherever the space is, and replace it with blank. And all that will be left is Dina. So I'm going to type replace. There's the old text, that trim. Comma, the starting number, well, I want one always, so I'm going to type a one, comma, the number of characters. Well, I have no idea because the space is in a different uh, position each time. No problem. I'll use the search function. The search function can search for a certain text, and I'm going to do space, double quote, space, double quote, comma, and within what? I'm going to control V to place my trim. Now, right now, if I highlight this and hit F9, I can see that the search will tell me, hey, it's the six character. So replace is going to go from one to six. Control Z. And I need to comma and that new text. It's double quote, double quote. Now, I want to make sure that this one has a space, because it's a space. This has nothing. That means, hey, nothing, blank. So Control Enter. And there it is. Replace went from the first character to the space and replaced it with blank. Now, I need that first letter right there. So I'm going to F2 and simply use left around this. Hey, left function, look at that thing there and give me just the first character. Control Enter, double click and send it down. I'm going to check, you know, it looks like I have an extra little space there. So I'm going to do the len function, just make sure I'm on right track. And I should have one all the way down. 
OK, that looks like it's working. I'm going to delete that. Now all I have to do is I have the D. Now I just need the J. So all I have to do is join. And I'm going to use the ampersand, Shift 7, and then double quotes, period, end double quotes. I'm going to join that with a period. And I'm going to join this with the left function again. But the left, unlike up here, I'm just going to Control V, because that'll give me left 1, and that'll give me the J. So comma. Number of characters, one, close parentheses. And then quickly, sh ampersand, double quote period, and end double quote. Control Enter. And now double click and send it down. There we have it. So I have an SR, but I'm not getting the L. Not as cool as that monogram for uh, VBA from Mr. Excel. But there it is. All right, throw it over to Mr. Excel. Mike, that was beautiful. Uh, an amazing formula. I I think to a certain extent knowing VBA actually makes you a lot weaker in Excel because rather than having to try and figure out a formula like that, uh, you can just flip over to VBA and do everything. Hi, uh, uh, plug, slaying Excel dragons. Mike, this is great news. It's Friday, February 18th. If you remember, that was the bind by date right there, February 18th. And check this out tech status, cover status. It is shipping. That's right. Books are leaving Ann Arbor, Michigan today. Uh, heading to the uh, distributor in Chicago. They'll be available uh, at Amazon probably uh, middle to late next week. So everyone check that out. All kinds of great, great Excel uh, from the foundation all the way up. So I want to thank everyone for stopping by. See you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.